Hello, I am Isabel Blancas. I am medical oncologist and I am the head of the oncology uh, section in Granada in the Hospital Clinico Universitario San Cecilio of uh, Granada, Spain. And I would like to uh, explain uh, the work that we have been uh, performing. Uh, it was a study uh, to see uh, what happens uh, with an uh, increase of dose of uh, tamoxifen from the standard dose of 20 milligrams to 40 milligrams and to 60 milligrams uh, just to know if the levels of endoxifen that uh, as you know is the active uh, form of the drug it's increasing in the blood uh, with the increase of the dose in those patients that are considered poor metabolizers according to the polymorphism of CYP2D6 enzyme. And what we have seen is that with the increasing of the dose, with the escalation of the dose of tamoxifen, we got finally regular or um, acceptable levels of endoxifem, but only when we uh, achieve the dose of 60 milligrams. I have to say that after four months, these uh, patients uh, with an enzyme considered poor metabolizer, according to the polymorphism, came back to the uh, regular, to the standard dose of 20 milligrams. We have explored before if uh, there was any difference in survival, and we have found no differences in survival, in survival, in survival between the two groups of uh, extended metabolizer or uh, not extensive metabolizer, so poor metabolizer and intermediate metabolizer. And what we uh, want to explore here in the present uh, uh, um, sub-analysis was if uh, there was any difference in the toxicity profile. So we have uh, after 10 11 years of, of follow-up, we have a uh, check in all the uh, charts of the patients, the side effects that have occurred. And we have a uh, uh, segregate in four groups. So uh, toxicity uh, for osteomuscular uh, pain, uh, asthenia, uterine changes, and also hot flashes. And we, we have seen is that the extensive metabolizers have less uterine changes than the group that was not extensive. So uh, in short and longer uh, period of follow-up. So as a result uh, are that the, the patients uh, that are poor metabolizers and uh, that we increase the dose of uh, tamoxifen to get regular levels of um, endoxifen, they have a toxicity profile that is different to the extensive metabolizers uh, just for the uterine change. So that were all results and I think that could be useful to taking into account for our clinical practice. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.